Hey guys, Serial Simmer here. Welcome back to the 100 Baby Challenge um, in Tartosa that we're doing here with Stella Paza. And um, we are about to jump back in from just moving house last time into this new beautiful house. I am so excited by this house. I also think there's tons of room to expand upward, um, which I potentially am really excited about. I definitely think like we could use a bigger living area somehow. I already am kind of feeling like that might be a good idea. I did go in just sort of off camera and do a little bit more furnishing. Um, so I did get the puzzle table in here. I added a few more decorations to the rooms. I got the craft table for the kids as well. I got a, I was gonna call it a logics table, which is, you know, pretty much what it is in The Sims, but the uh, chess set I did get for in here. I got the piano in this room. Um, I did get the family portrait, which is fun because it will sort of like auto update um, over time, which is kind of nice. I do need to jump into cast and change some looks here, but I think Camilla is about to age up. So I was going to have her finish potty training and then jump into cast and just change everyone's look all at once. Alessi did age up as well, so it might be nice to kind of just update her look. We probably don't need to change all a lot of her look, but just kind of updating it. Um, and then we have Dominic in here on the floor that definitely needs to be taken care of a little bit. It looks like he is feeling sad from having a diaper rash, poor guy. Um, so he's just kind of hanging out there. Camilla is really tired. So I believe mom is on her way right now to go put her to sleep. Currently, I am on the successful lineage um, aspiration so that we can get some more points here. Last time, we did finally get the creative visionary um, buff. Now, Alessi is a young adult, but I would like to keep her in my household since I have room for her just so that she can kind of help me mom. <laughs> Does the Humor and Hinks Festival sound interesting to you? No, it doesn't. Okay, so we'll do this and then we need to go ahead and change Dominic's diaper. We've got him crying. I'm gonna have Alessi go help Bruno with his homework. All right, looks like she read Camila to sleep and the next thing queued up is to change the diaper, but for some reason, Stella is walking all the way into the other room. That's not where the baby is. What? Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Bruno, um, we are just trying to get up skill here. I'm trying to think what we could quickly do. What currently do we have skills in? Logic, charisma, Salvadorian culture, video gaming. He does need some fun, so maybe I'll just have him go and play some games for a little bit. Other thing we could have him do um, would be to like ride a bike, I guess. That would be probably good. And then he would um, be getting up some fitness skill. All right, we are changing Dominic's diaper and it looks like he's hungry. So let's go ahead and just quickly feed him. Oh, Quirk loves being held. Oh, Dominic loves being held. And we did um, make a baby or two with Henley Dorsey, I believe is what his name was. It is still rebate day. So when I did buy all of those things as well, um, that should count towards rebate day. We still have about $27,000. So we could definitely expand the house um, again. I just haven't gotten to a point where <laughs> I've wanted to spend a lot of time doing that because we just moved last episode. So I think I want to hang out in this house the way that it is for just a little bit. And then I probably will expand again. Okay, so let's do some tummy time mom activities tummy time all right and bruno has received level two of the fitness skill so just one more um fitness skill for him and then he should be good and then we'll get him to come home and maybe eat something and we will assign this bed to him lift head milestone yay getting closer oh my goodness and stella is in her second trimester now, but she will be in her third trimester in about one day. And we do have the onlay line trait on now. So we'll hopefully we'll have twins this time. All right, putting Dominic to bed here finally. And then mom needs to go and get some food. And we have another vampire at our door. Oh, and it looks like Camila is up. I'm not sure why she's going to wake up her brother. Let's see, we need you to go potty. What could we have Alessi do? She would like to work on gardening. We can definitely get you to do that. 
The greenest of thumbs, Alessia is flourishing as much as her crop of germinating plant friends. Is this a budding emotion? Is this budding emotion a sign that she likes gardening? Sure, she can definitely like gardening. The other thing that we can get her to do is to stock the table and start selling on the table. So I think I'm going to have her do that really quick. Rebate day was awful for Stella. Guys, that's such garbage. I totally spent so much money. All right, Mama, it looks like you have slept a pretty good amount. So maybe let's go ahead and use the bathroom and get something to eat. That's right. I got a fish tank as well. So I was maybe going to go ahead and get everybody a fish. Ooh. Get an autograph from Brittany Cho if you can. Nope, she doesn't like that. Feels like whenever they're here buying stuff, they don't like the attention for getting their autograph and stuff. Okay. Stella is doing great. And Camila has mastered the potty training skill. Woohoo! Which means it's time to age her up. So let me just quickly get out our cake. All right, let's get ready to age up Miss Camila here. Oh, where are we gonna go? Is there enough room in this house? I think there is. Oh, she's so cute. All right, Camila aged up. Select, select an aspiration and treat to replace. Okay, so let's randomize. We've got an animal enthusiast. These Sims are obsessed with animals and will often seek their company. Okay. They have an easier time getting close. So we are going to do, we've done plague time, captain and mind and body. So maybe let's do slumber party animal. I don't really know that that's going to make any difference for these kids at all because I don't know that we'll have time to actually get to that, but we will see. All right. looks like we have um, a baby who needs a diaper change. And then let's get Camila started on her homework and pass down our toddler items. She is still so tired. So we'll go ahead and assign her this bed, I think. Pee on caregiver milestone unlocked. Oh, good job, Dominic. And then I think it would be good to keep working on tummy time with him. Leslie is still out here selling. She's just about done. Let's see if there's anything else I can get her to do with the plants. So let's go ahead and sell the birds of paradise once we're done with this. And then we should also be able to sell our orchids and we can sell Brittany Cho's painting here. Yay. Okay. Maybe since you're a teenager, it'd be great if you could go and help your sister with some homework and then start working carefully on this. So you should be able to age up soon. All right. Add some birthday candles to this before it gets eaten. The coup milestone has been unlocked. And it looks like we need to, something is spoiled here. We need to clean up some of this. Cooking level three for Alessi. All right, can you do extra credit? No, okay, so then come and work on this. So Alessi's gonna go and help everybody with their school projects. Mom is working on sitting with Dominic. You can have a sim go about class. Oh, join, shoot, no, I don't wanna join. <laughs> oh no, maybe I can switch back to Bella, uh, or to Stella, not Bella, to Stella once I get there. Oh, I don't want to be here. Okay, well, let's Stella switch control to Stella. Will that make Bruno come back? He'll still go to school, right? Like Bruno is at school, but he's also getting the thing saying he's not at school. I don't know, guys. Oh no, I might have really messed that one up. Okay, we'll get these two back working on this school project. Oh my gosh, land grab has shut off our power. I didn't remember that we had bills. Definitely need to pay that. Lifestyle gain. Stella has unlocked this single and loving it lifestyle. Oh, that's good. Bruno still has this um, exclamation point thing happening. I'm not loving that. Stella, why didn't you go to sleep in your bed? Or not Stella, Camila. She does look a lot like her mom. Can you sleep in this one? No, we can't get to it because of that. What? You should definitely be able to get to it. I guess for right now, I can just put this in inventory and maybe she can just sleep in this one. I could even put it. Oh, there was like a thing underneath it. That's why. What the heck? Okay. And then we can go back into here and fix this. Okay. That should solve that problem. Let me see if that worked. Let's 
go ahead and have you sleep in your bed. Okay. Yeah. It was the box under the bed. That was strange. I'm not even sure how that got there. Oh, whoops. All right, mamacita. Let's switch you back to painter extraordinaire and see if we can't get you to make us some masterpieces. Let's go and also serve some lunch. Let's just do a garden salad because she doesn't have a super high cooking skill. We don't want any fires. Let's see who's out here. Justin Delgado. Which of the kids' parents is he? Camilla's? Yeah, that's right. He is Camilla's dad. So I guess we could wake her up and just have her come and say hi. I think it's nice for the kids to meet their dads, honestly. And then I think I'm just going to have him go away because I don't want him to help out with anything. And Stella is in here doing really well. Let's see. We've painted one more masterpiece, maybe, I think. If the teachers have called homework and just Mr. Spiroto had as poor of a day as possible, he might as well have been absent. Great. I love that that got so messed up just because I said I was going to join him and then I didn't. Where is he? Um, Bring him here. We're going to have you take a shower and then, I don't know, go ride the bike again maybe because you need some fun. And then you're going to do your homework and maybe another school project because we aren't doing so hot. We need to get you out of our house. Okay. Bruno is getting out of the house. Aspiration complete. Good art is subjects, subjected. Oh, she she did her thing. She completed it. Woohoo! That's so great. Okay, so let's see what else we could work on here. These parenting ones, since she obviously has like a bajillion kill children. So let's go ahead and practice sitting. Nope. It looks like we sold a painting over here, which is great. A couple of paintings. And then maybe I can kind of restock this because she did just do like a ton more paintings here. George Cahill, I've called to inform you that you're great, great, grand, no thanks. Let's say no thank you to all of that. Getting this sit milestone, hopefully, or maybe he's just rolling over. I'm hoping on that sit milestone. Nope. Roll over to tummy. Milestone unlocked. Okay. And he's sad because he's been awake for too long, he's saying, which is interesting. I would like you to go and continue practicing sitting, mom. The reach milestone was unlocked. Yay. Let's see. What's this? Outshined from watching a sibling's milestone. That was it. Big deal. Camilla has been doing that for years. <laughs> All right. I'm going to get her to come and help with this homework. And then you can assist this project with him. Camilla is outside riding her bike see what else we can do for her and if anything i'll go have her play some chess so that when she ages up to a teenager she already has that third skill that she'll need see if we can maybe like encourage anything parenting encourage doing homework that should count as disciplining your toddler child or child or teen oh my gosh alessi seriously has just always been so gassy maybe we could parenting encourage completing school projects all right what else Praise effort in motor growth. Do you think that counts? Yay, extra credit has been awarded. So then we can go and parenting encourage, working on, and then can we also encourage you for completing it? Good job. And then I can put this in your inventory and we can sell it. Don't go to sleep yet. Your mom hasn't encouraged you. Oh, we've completed it already. Okay. Help a child with schoolwork for four hours. Oh, that'll be easy. Pick up Dominic so we can work on that sit skill again. Because once our baby or babies come, we are not going to have time for this. And then it looks like he is hungry, so I guess we'll go ahead and feed him. Oh, he's getting... Laugh milestone. Interesting. Okay. I always feel like they are not laughing, like, very soon. Jeez Louise, it took forever. Okay, change his diaper. And then let's just change his outfit as well. Oh, it looks like we haven't done any of his outfits. Okay, interesting. Okay, we're having another milestone. Are we rolling over the other side? I thought we already did that, right? So are we sitting? Oh, yes. Look at that. Ta-da, little scooch, little scooch, scooch, scooching. And then mom can get some sleep as well so that hopefully we're rested by the time the baby or babies come. And that means everyone is asleep. All right, Bruno, let's get up and have a better day at school today here, buddy. Okay, it looks like Dominic is back awake as well. So I will go ahead and get mom up. And let's go try some baby food, I think. Could you get some clothes on there, mom? That'd be great. Okay, let's help explore oatmeal cereal. Quirk revealed, messy eater. Great. Okay, let's see. Can we try some sweet potato puree? 
Send a loan today. I'm not pushing that again. Ah, oh, Alessi, she seriously does this all the time. It must be from having from being a slob. Maybe let's load the dishwasher. Go find the wherever the dirty plates are and load the dishwasher. And we can set the thermostat to warm. Speaking of thermostats, in real life, my AC broke and won't be getting fixed until Wednesday. Currently, it is Monday and it is getting pretty hot every day. First world problems, I know. First bath milestone unlocked. Awesome. Judith Ward. Can we ask her for her autograph again or is she going to say no again? Ada friend. Bruno's friend hasn't studied for the big exam today since he is since he is taking it earlier in the day. Bruno could easily remember the questions and slip his friend the answers. Should he do it or should he just let his friend figure it out? Let's go ahead and don't help because I really just want him. Love letter. Okay, Camila is grabbing her lunch from her backpack and she notices something red inside. It's a note shaped like a heart with the words, you're cute, written on it and nothing else. She thinks it might be from the new boy who always seems to stare. Does she ask him or wait and see? Wait and see for sure. Okay, so Bruno refuses blaming the teacher. His friend's not mad. Camila decides to wait it out and see if anyone comes forward. Sure enough, at lunch, some friends laugh and wave to her. Hey, cutie, you want taunts? Camila wads up the note and tosses it at them, laughing along with the joke. Someday it'll happen for real, but she's relieved it's not today. And she really should be giving birth any second now. I'm just waiting for that. Oh, and then it does look like we have enough reward points to get another buff here, another boost. Something sleepy. I think steel bladder might be good. Frugal would be pretty good too, though. Although we aren't really struggling with money right now. So I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is steel bladder. That'll leave us with 935 satisfaction points. Maybe we could go ahead and like go around and do some upgrading here. Let's go ahead and like upgrade this. It will help us shower more quickly. We can do the toilet. It can be a little bit more hygienic. Did we finish upgrading all of the beds? Oh, not quite. So once I'm done with this shower, I'm actually going to do that one. Oh, and this one doesn't have any of them. Okay. Well, we definitely need to work on the beds first. Is it just me or does this belly seem bigger than last time? Maybe it's just this outfit. <gasps> All right, it's happening. We are going into labor. Here we go. Grades are up. Camila has been working. She is now a B student. <gasps> Grades are up for Bruno. He's an A student. Okay, let's go have these babies. And then maybe we will be aging up Bruno, it sounds like. All right, let's go have our babies. Babies, babies, babies. I want multiple babies. Come on. Let's do it, Stella. Babies. We're having babies. All right, Stella, what do you got for us? What do you got for us? Unless we don't want to chat right now. <laughs> okay, we got a baby boy. Okay, so let's see. Dominic was D, so A, B, C, D, E. So we need Italian baby name E. Oh, Enzo. I like Enzo a lot. Let's do Enzio. Enzio. Enzio Paza. Please have twins. Please Oh no, it's a single baby again. My gosh, you guys, I swear we're never going to get twins. I don't know what's wrong with this. What does the game have against us? All right, let's give Enzio um, the feeling hoppy once E and go ahead and set his feeding preferences to breastfeeding. So we aren't making a billion bottles. All right. All right, you guys. And I think the last thing that I would like to do is go ahead and just quickly hop in to Cass and change up everybody's looks here. Okay, so here's kind of the update that I gave Alessi. It just gave her this new everyday outfit. I only changed this um, full body outfit and left everything else the same. And then for Dominic, we have this every day, this every day. We've got a formal outfit, not that he'll probably ever need that. And then five sleepwear outfits that I'll just kind of quickly scroll scroll through for you guys. He has this party wear outfit, which is very similar to his hot weather outfit. And then here is his cold weather. This is Camila's every day, which is almost exactly the same. I did change her pants. She had like snow pants on. I changed those to this cute skirt and gave her some nails and changed her hair. Here's her formal, the socks she already came with. And I actually thought they were kind of a cute little touch. And this is her workout outfit, one of her sleepwears, the second sleepwear. This is her party outfit. This is her swimwear, her hot weather wear, and her cold weather wear. And then Bruno, I actually spent the most time on. 
Um, I think he was having that weird bug with his face. If you look, his nose is like really messed up and I wasn't quite sure how to fix that. Um, I probably could have just picked a different nose, but, um, I didn't want to mess with his face too much. So I just go ahead and kind of made him look like, I guess like hipstery sort of, um, and gave him like a little bit of facial hair. He has kind of like a tiny bit of a mustache coming in. So this is his teen look. I did go ahead and keep his piercing on his nose that he had. And then I also gave him these um, Dream Home Decorator glasses. I think it's the pack that those came from. He also did have this hat on in one of his outfits. So I kept that. This is a styled look. And then his swimwear, his hot weather wear, and his cold weather wear. And that is everybody, you guys. All right. So I think I might go ahead and call it right here then, you guys. We'll age up Bruno probably first thing next time. And then work on getting pregnant um, as well as age up, hopefully Dominic. Um, Camilla is a B, st B student, so she could potentially as well be able to age up. I think I may move Bruno out and keep Alessi since she has been skilling up in all of the skills that are really helpful to us with like cooking and um, she's working on gardening and she's working on parenting. So all of those skills that are really um, helpful for us, I think I'll keep. But once Bruno becomes a young adult, I think I'll go ahead and move him out just so that we have like one less sim to deal with. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did make it this far in the video, be sure to subscribe and hit that like button to let me know that you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.